All right, guys, today we're talking about something that keeps popping up. IDM not showing that little download bar inside Chrome. <laughs> and yeah, I know what most people mean when they say that. They're usually talking about YouTube. But let's clear one thing right away. We're not getting into YouTube downloading or anything that breaks their rules. What we're going to do is fix IDM when it stops hooking into your browser altogether. So first and easiest thing to check browser data. Sometimes Chrome just holds on to old cache or cookies that mess with IDM's extension handshake. Basically, the integration gets jammed. We'll do a cleanup so it resets that link. But before you hit clear all, hear me out. If you've got multiple accounts logged in, especially with two-factor auth, you might not want to do the full wipe right now. I know how annoying it is to re-log in everywhere, so I'll show both ways, the full reset and a lighter version that keeps your login safe. All right, here's what you do. Open Chrome, hit Control plus Shift plus Delete. That opens the clear browsing data window. Now up top, switch to Advanced. Set the time range to all time. And yeah, if you're going full cleanup, check everything. History, cookies, cached files, saved passwords, site settings, all of it. Then hit Clear Data and wait a few seconds. Once it's done, don't just close Chrome, actually kill it. Right-click the Chrome icon on the taskbar, close window. Or open Task Manager and end any leftover Chrome process. This just makes sure it's not holding any leftover cache in the background. Then reopen Chrome and test IDM on a normal downloadable file, something like a software page or direct file link, and see if that bar pops up again. But yeah, like I said earlier, if you hate relogging everywhere, don't do that full clear. You can go lighter. Open the same clear browsing data window again, go to advanced, and this time only check cached images and files. Leave cookies unchecked. That way, you keep your logins intact. Press clear data, reopen Chrome, and test IDM again. Nine times out of 10, that's enough to refresh the extension handshake without losing your sessions. And if you want to be extra safe, there's another little trick. Just clear data for specific sites. Go to Chrome Settings, Privacy and Security, Cookies and Other Site Data. See all cookies and site data. Search the site you think is acting weird and remove only that one, so you don't touch your main Google or work logins. All right, that's step one done. Clear the old junk and give IDM a clean start. If the bar still doesn't show up after that, don't worry. Next thing to check is your Chrome update. Most of the time, people have an old version running, and they don't even know because they disabled Google Update service earlier for optimization. And yeah, that's exactly why IDM's integration or the extension starts acting weird. Outdated browser plus new extension equals broken handshake. So here's what you do. First, open Chrome and click the three dots up top. Go to Help, About Google Chrome. It'll automatically start checking for updates. If it's already updating, let it finish. Don't touch anything. But if it says update failed or update disabled by administrator, then that's when we fix it manually. So close Chrome for now and press Win plus R, type services.msc, and hit Enter. Now in the list, scroll down till you find Google Update Service. Sometimes it shows up as G Update or G Update M. Double click it, set startup type to automatic, delayed start then hit Apply and Start. Do the same thing for both of them if you see two. After that, open the Run box again, Win plus R, type msconfig, press Enter, then go to the Services tab. Scroll again and make sure the Google Update boxes are ticked. If they're unchecked, check them back. Hit Apply, OK, and restart your PC. After Reboot, open Chrome again, Go back to About Google Chrome, and it should start updating normally this time. Once it updates, just close and reopen Chrome once more. And yeah, IDM should be able to detect it properly again. Also, quick note, if Chrome still refuses to update, it could be some optimizer app or deep loader you used earlier that disabled the service in the background. So yeah, try re-enabling it or reinstall Chrome if it's too broken. But in most cases, re-enabling the service does the job. All right, now if Chrome's updated and still no download bar, then it's time to look at IDM itself. 
a lot of people mess up right here. They download IDM from random third-party sites, some cracked build or outdated version, and then wonder why it's not showing up inside Chrome. Look, man, half those versions miss key files or get blocked by browsers, so they never integrate right. So first thing, open IDM. Up top, click Help, About IDM, and just check what version you're running. If it's something old or looks kind of weird, you probably need to update. Close IDM for a second, then open your browser and go straight to the official IDM website, not Softonic, not Get Into BC, the real internetdownloadmanager.com one. Download the latest installer and run it right over your current version. You don't need to uninstall first. It'll replace the old files, keep your settings, and bring the new build. Once that's done, reopen IDM, and here's a quick thing to check. Go to Options, General, make sure Use Advanced Browser Integration is ticked, and also tick your browser name below, like Google Chrome, Edge, whatever you're using. Then hit OK. After that, open Chrome again. If IDM was outdated, you'll probably get a small pop-up saying IDM integration module needs to be updated or something like that. Just click Update or reinstall the extension when it asks. And yeah, I'll say this again, using the legit latest build from IDM site is super important because every now and then, websites, especially media sites, change their protection methods and only newer IDM builds can handle those properly. So yeah, update IDM, keep it official, recheck integration, and then restart your browser once. OK, so the next thing we're going to check is IDM settings. First, just make sure IDM is using automatic proxy or SOC. Don't set anything manually there, all right? Then open your internet options, go to the connection tab, and here, make sure there's no dial-up or virtual network listed. If you see anything like that, just delete it. Now, right below that, you'll see LAN settings. Click that and turn on Automatically Detect Settings. After doing that, close IDM properly from the tray icon, not just cross it, I mean fully exit it, and then relaunch again. Now test your download once more, see if it connects fine. And lastly, just to be safe, let's restore your firewall back to default. Click on the Windows search, type Windows Security, and open it up. From there, go into Firewall and Network Protection, and you'll see the option to Restore Defaults. Just hit that. After that, restart your PC once. Now when you're back and launch any app that needs internet, you'll get that small firewall pop-up asking to allow or block. Make sure to allow IDM when it asks. That's important, otherwise it won't connect. And yeah, if still no luck, then honestly, it's not on your side. Try using another browser, or maybe that website updated their protection so IDM can't catch the link anymore. In that case, you'll just have to wait till IDM updates itself. Nothing much else you can do. I really hope one of these steps helped you fix the problem, and if it did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, maybe share it with a friend too. And hey, thanks a lot for supporting me. <laughs>